The Basra governor's guest house engulfed by flames as protesters gather at the gates. Blazes could be seen across Iraq's second city on Thursday night as protesters set fire to a series of political offices. Earlier, hundreds of people filled the streets of Basra for a fourth day of clashes with security forces. At least three were killed. Infrastructure in this oil-rich region is collapsing, unemployment is rife, and Basra residents say the water supply has been contaminated with salt. We protesters are dying from hunger. Do not clap me. I swear to God, I have no milk in my house. I came to protest to demand my rights. Growing anger at living conditions coincides with a period of political uncertainty. Four months after parliamentary elections, there's still no new government. Nonetheless, popular Shiite cleric Muqtada al-Sada has urged lawmakers to present radical and immediate solutions to Basra's crisis at an emergency parliamentary session. The Prime Minister, along with the Ministers for Health, Interior, Housing, Water, Electricity, as well as the Governor of Basra and his two deputies, must attend this emergency meeting. Recent pollution of Basra's water supply has put some 20,000 people in hospital. Government promises that sanitation improvements are on the way have done little to reassure Basra's desperate residents.